So here now, you see that snake go run here down, and it does bite like dog. Those are some of the words normally used to describe this species. But that statement is partially true. For those of you that don't already know, I am talking about the tigre, neotropical rat snake, neotropical chicken snake, chicken snake, serpent tigre, tiger rat snake, el tigre, caninana, or yellow rat snake, spilotes palatus. It is native to Trinidad and Tobago, northern parts of South America, and southern parts of Central America. Interestingly, there are differences with this species depending on which geographical area they are in. For instance, the ones in Tobago generally have little to no stripes, sometimes lacking white or yellow completely, and is completely black. Also, they are slightly smaller. While in Trinidad, they are generally, well, they generally have stripes and normally have some white, yellow, or cream color. I've even heard some with less black and more white. I've even heard a story of a completely white specimen, but most of the times in Trinidad, they are black with white, yellow, or cream color stripes along their bodies. Some people have mistaken the yellow matchet, the long tail matchet, the yellow belly puff snake, the black creepo, and the yellow tail creepo for this species. There are some small similarities between the species, but they are all different species. The tigre is a large snake that can grow generally six to eight feet, but there have been some reports of individuals growing 10, 12, and even 14 feet. Now, not much is known about their breeding behavior, but their breeding season is somewhere around May and July. And of the little that they do know, this is what they know. The males will track down a female, and when he finds her, he will move alongside her and sometimes on top of her, and he would follow her for a very long time. While he is following her, he would shake his tail all over and seek her approval. If she likes him, she will bob her head a couple of times to let him know that she is ready and gives him approval. If two males encounter each other at this time, the males will wrap themselves together with one third of their body free. That would be the part with their head. Each one will try to keep their head higher than the other while pushing and biting each other. The loser is the one that gives up first. The winner will then chase the losing male away for a short time, but after the losing male will lose, he will immediately leave the territory. When I was much younger, I went looking for yams in the forest at time, and I had the opportunity to witness two males battling it out on a hillside. It was amazing. I sat there eating mangoes while enjoying the wrestling match. The fight lasted around 30 minutes, with the bigger male being victorious and the smaller male quickly sliding away. After the female successfully mates, she would lay 5 to 14 elongated, well, large elongated eggs in decomposing plant matter or hollows in tree roots or tree trunks. The eggs will take 73 to 76 days to incubate. Tigres have a mild venom, but it is so mild that it was and in some cases still is classified as non-venomous. It is believed that its mild venom is tailored solely to weaken its prey items, and so generally humans have nothing to really worry about. Unless you transform into a small bird or a rat, then. Anyhow, the tigre dad consists of amphibians, lizards, other snakes, birds, bird eggs, and small mammals. And they are known for mainly going after birds and rodents. That is why they have the names chicken snake and rat snake. They are not ambush predators like the mackerels and balsint, aka red tail boa and fertilance. So they stalk and full on chase their prey using their speed and flexibility if need be. But when they get a hold of their prey, they will swallow it alive. But if it's a little too big, and it's fighting up, they will sometimes wrap around it like a boa. They don't have the crushing powerful squeeze like the boa, but they can still suffocate some of their prey items. When it comes to self-defense, here is where most of the misunderstandings about the tigre comes from. The tigre is a highly defensive snake, not aggressive. 
if the tigre feels as if it's in danger, it will stop and examine its environment to see what is going on. Then it will proceed to move quickly and quietly away from the danger. But if it notices the danger is coming closer to it, the tigre will give a series of warnings. It will puff its neck, make a puffing sound or hiss, open and close its mouth and nod its head, rattle its tail, face the threat and lift its head and neck off the ground, all while slowly trying to make a quick getaway. But if it's cornered or the tigre determines it cannot make its getaway fast enough, it will put up a fight or will make a short charge at the threat. And here is where the saying, it is run your dong, comes from. Now, I've had the opportunity to test it out a number of times. And they're not really chasing you. It's just a short charge to scare you away. As for the other saying, it is bite like dog. <sighs> if I had a choice whether to get bitten from a dog or a tigre, I would choose the tigre. Just before the cameras came on, I was bitten twice. The first one I didn't even notice, my friend had to tell me. And the second bite was not all that. So that saying is false. No, it don't hold on and it don't get on like a dog, no, none of that. So, if you ever come across a tigre, just keep your distance and it will go on its way. So let me know if you ever seen a tigre. And, as you all know, I am the wildlife master. And until next time, blessings and bless out.